All right, I'll just go. Because we're making a video, my computer's running is just a little bit slow. There's a text edit. There we go, text edit's just running up. I'll just cut, what I want to do is just cut and paste what I've copied. No, I'm just going to copy the text that I've highlighted in this window. That's what I wanted to show you because it puts it into APA format. Oh, no way. In one cut and paste, then you just have to check it, okay? Hang on, I'm just waiting for the um, computer to catch up. I've opened up four mail windows. Now curriculum is something else. Nothing. There's still a German word in the English paper. We never translated that? Yeah. I thought we did. Hmm. Well, then uh, I wouldn't like it. So there you go. APA format. Oh, nice. And if you want it in Harvard, you just set it to cut and paste in Harvard. Okay? This is the most. Yeah, it's that's. It doesn't matter what you cut, you cut and paste it into. It, it if you take the titles, it will give you the APA format or the Harvard format. Ah, uh, yeah, but don't forget. No, these are articles. Yeah, so you don't have retrieved from on there. If it's a web page, it's retrieved from. If you download the um, Mendeley web add-in for Safari or for um, Excel, then it will, if you, if you save a page, so you take the BBC's website and take a page off there, it will actually say when it was downloaded. Okay? But if it's a, if it's a report, it doesn't need to have that. And it also gives you the D O I number. Not if it's a not if it's an article. It's if it's a web page, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The download date doesn't matter. Then what you do? Let me find a report, and I'll import a report. Let, let me just find a report for my downloads. Fracking. Um, there we go. Servitization in service industries. Okay. What I would then do is I would say um, add document. Import. Uh, uh, no, okay, I've forgotten how to do this. I think I can just do it like this. No, let me just try. No, that doesn't work. I've actually got a Mendeley folder somewhere on my desktop if it was tidier. Mendeley alias. So if I drop that into there, we'll end up cooking on gas. So then I drop it into my watch folder. And then I go to recently added. I'm just going to press sync to make it identify that I've just added it. Well, it hasn't picked it up yet. Okay. 
Here's one I did earlier. So it's like a school thing. This is a paper from VGP, VGB Power, um, and basically I imported it um, by having a watched folder. Um, it's not identified it yet, which is slightly annoying. Every so often you have to press sync. Um, so if that was a report, it should have added it. Let me just close it and start again. Okay, that's good. Let me just press sync. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I can do it this way. Let me just find um, the paper uh, that I've got on the desktop. I'm going to add the pocket project management book. It's now important the file. For some reason, it's the, the, the watch folder is not working. There we go. It's just imported a file and it's not put the details in. Um, one of the things I like here, it says details are not correct. Do you want to get Google Scholar to go and check them for you? Okay, so it's picked up some of the details. It's told me it's a book, and then you can begin to put the abstract in there. It's filled in some of the details, okay? Quite a lot of them, actually. And then that leaves you with only a few left to fill in yourself, so you're not actually wasting time putting the dates and stuff together. You're actually worrying about marking up. Something else you might like to consider is when you're doing your literature search, you've got a lot of options in here in terms of writing notes. You can put stickies, you can mark up the PDFs, okay, and you can highlight stuff, okay, and then I can put a note against it. This makes it really, really useful, because then I'm actually marking up in the document. Mm -hmm. And because it's on your machine and in the cloud, you can also then share it with somebody if you're doing it. So if you've got somebody else you're working with, you can you can share. I read this paper, I thought it was rubbish. What do you think? Am I being sensible here? Well, this is a really good paper. Okay, that was where I wanted to get to. Um, what I'd say is go away and play with it. Um, everybody speak with each other about it and find out how it helps you. And then if you get stuck, come back to me. Okay? Thanks, then. I'll send an email with um, the the library addresses on it, okay? The video, no, I won't be able to do that. I'll post it on the, uh, the website. Yep, okay. Thanks very much, everyone. Thanks, sir.